ये सर यू आर बैक विथ अनदर एडिशन ऑफ फैस्ट ब्रेक बेट्स प्रेजेंट बाय बेटिंग प्रोज यू नो मी नो वॉइस नो गाइस रियली रियल विलन रियल सो रियल फॉर मी जॉइन हियर एट योर सर <laughs> All right. On the road here. Had to drop the last episode a little bit early, so I didn't get to do a recap. So we have a double recap here. But looking at Wednesday, going back to Wednesday and recap. We had a good day. So it was a good day and a bad day. We had a good day because we cashed Ben Matherin over 11 and a half points. Shout out to Ben Mather. I just I really really think he's going to have a case for six player of the year, most improved, something like that. I just I think if Ben Mather stays healthy over the over the course of the year, it, he has to win an award of some kind. But we also cashed the listener pick in that same game, Jalen Duran over 11 and a half rebounds. We cashed the Cleveland Cavaliers laying six and a half. The Soren Raptors are not a real basketball team. And we ended up missing the Phoenix Suns laying five. They forced it in overtime, and then they didn't cover in overtime. And I, once they got to overtime, I was like, oh, man, maybe we have it. Like, we might have a chance. And then they ended up not covering it. And so, you know, it is what it is. But some very good picks. Very good good picks on that Wednesday. However, Thursday, not so well because Nas Reed absolutely dominated the glass. He ended up with 13 rebounds. We had him for under four and a half. That was never in sight. Shea ended up not getting over 30 and a half. He had 28. That didn't go well. Jokic. Did not get over 39 and a half points and rebounds. He had uh 16 and 12, so that didn't go well. But we did get Mike Conley. Mike Conley went over the one and a half threes. So I guess a little silver lining, but we're gonna try to get it back. I'm not gonna try to have a huge, huge Friday. I got a couple of plays that I like and just fading some teams that I normally fade, but uh we're going to try to get it back on Friday, but before I give you the Friday plays, I got to talk to you about that betting pros discord because you know, I am not having an episode over the course of the weekend. If you're new here, I do not have weekend episodes. Instead, I drop my plays in discord and you don't have to pay for it. It's hundred percent free. Go to bettingpros.com slash chat to get into that discord and you will have an opportunity to see those plays and not just see those plays, but just communicate with other people that like NBA, WNBA, basketball of all source, whatever it, it, it may be. So 100% lock into that Discord, bettingpros.com slash chat. That is bettingpros.com slash chat to get into that Discord. All right. I have two plays for you. Play number one. I mean, I feel like you should already know what I'm going to play. If you look at the slate and just look at the teams that are playing, you should 100% know what game I'm going to play. But if you don't know, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you right now because the, the Toronto Raptors are hosting the sem, the Philadelphia 76ers. 76ers are laying four and a half on the road. 219 is the total of fading the Raptors. This is not a real basketball team. I don't think that they're actively trying to win basketball games. I mean, we talked about Jakob Pertl saying it. We talked about Jakob Pertl saying that, hey, this team is not a championship team and we're trying to develop talent and not try to win games. But they just showed it on the court that they're also not very well. Also, they are injured and they don't have a a full cast going to play these games. Meanwhile, looking at the Philadelphia 76ers, I know a lot of people are going to look at that loss to the Bucs, but I think that they didn't actually look horrible. They didn't look bad at all. I think that that was actually a pretty valiant effort for the fact that they were missing their two best players on that team. So this is another spot where Tyrese Maxey shoots a little bit more efficient from the field. We see Kelly Oubre a little bit more efficient. I think that they're going to get very, very good bench depth as well. I don't trust this Raptors team on the interior defense guarding anybody. So 
I think that this is another complete route by the Philadelphia 76ers on the Toronto Raptors. Again, I don't think Toronto Raptors are a real basketball team, and I'm going to continue to fade them. So give me Philly laying four and a half. Play number two, we're going to the Brooklyn Nets and the Orlando Magic. Magic opened up laying nine and a half, and they're now laying 11 and a half to 16 and a half is the total. I mean, if you have any confidence in this Brooklyn Nets team after watching that game with the uh, Atlanta Hawks, then good luck to you. Really good luck to you. I don't think that they're good at all. I don't think that they're – they are also – trying to tank for Cooper flag and the Orlando magic are very, very good defensively. We saw that in the first game against the Miami heat when they held the Miami heat to what was the final total for the Miami heat there? Was it 97? Yeah. 97 points in that first meeting. Paolo Mancaro had a great game. I think that offensively they probably could be better. Like, I don't think that was their best game. I think offensively they could look a lot sharper. And so against a Brooklyn Nets team that isn't playing any defense and didn't play any defense against the Atlanta Hawks in the first game of the season? No. I understand this is a long, a big number. I understand that it's a lot of chalk, but I'm going to lay it, and I'm going to play the drop because I'm not afraid of this Brooklyn Nets team, and I think that the Orlando Magic are good, and they're good enough where they can cover an 11.5-point spread. So I'm laying it with the Orlando Magic for play number two. All right, there's your two plays for Friday. Not going to try to get it all back in one day, but let's go 2-0. and Have a very good day in the two plays that we like, and then we'll carry it on, and we'll see what happens during the weekend. So play number one, Philadelphia 76ers laying 4.5. Play number two, Orlando Magic laying 11.5. With that, I am really real underscore underscore on x make sure you give us a follow at betting pros on x and tiktok at betting pros nfl on instagram and hey give us a follow at youtube.com slash betting pros like comment subscribe make sure you get in there i don't have a listener pick for today i'm really really upset about that i wanted a listener pick but you have to you have to drop the listener picks in the comment section of this video for the next day everybody drops the picks for the day that is going on right there and i love those picks but i want to have a pick to give out to the people for the next day so get in here drop a listener pick for the next day and then let's go out there and let's cash so maybe i'll give out a listener pick on saturdays i haven't actually thought how that's going to work but I i can give out a listener pick on the weekends but you have to drop it into the comment section. Make sure you drop it into the comment section, whatever your listener picks is, your best bets, all that. Show off. Hey, if you feel like you're better than me, take the chance. Show off and drop your picks into the comment section for Saturday in the association. With that, I think that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Nothing else to do. No other way of ending the podcast. Just going to end it like this. We are... Out of here.